Let's begin at step number one, and that is to work out the radius. So let's take a closer look. Let's examine this example. Well, first of all, we notice that the large radius is 9, and the small radius, well, they haven't given it to us. We've got this 2. So how do we find the small radius? Essentially, what we're looking for is that radius right there. Okay, so I wonder whether it's clear and you can see that 9 is the whole thing all the way to the edge. Take away 2, so we go back 2, and that'll leave us what's here. So 9, take away 2, will leave us 7. So let's mark that in. So that's 7 centimeters. So the small radius, the white part in here, the inside part of the rainbow, is 7 centimeters. So let's write that down. So little r equals 7 centimeters. Now we know from examining this example, displayed here on the diagram, right to the edge there, 9 centimeters for the outside part of this golden rainbow. So let's write that down. Big R, which means a large radius, is 9 centimeters. Okay, now let's have a look here. How do we work this out? Again, well, we know they're semicircles, not full circles. So being a semicircle, all we need to do is work out the area of a full circle and then halve it, don't we? So let's do that. So let's work out the area of the large or of the big semicircle, which equals one half, because it's a semicircle, times pi times r squared. Now that'll be big R, won't it? So big R equals nine centimeters. That's a nine. And notice in the example, it's a half pi r squared. That's the formula for a semicircle. So we square that. So let's work that out for the large circle out here, the large semicircle. One half, let's put that in, one half times pi times nine squared or pi times 81. That's going to give us a grand total of 127.2. Okay, that's the large area of the circle. Okay, now let's work out the small circle in here, which we worked out earlier for the radius. There we have the new radius, it's seven centimeters. Let's work that out. Area of the small equals one half times pi times seven squared, which equals a half times pi times 7 squared equals, to one decimal place, round it up, is 77 centimeters squared. That's the smaller one. Okay, all we need to do now is area of big semicircle, subtract the area of the small semicircle. So that's going to be 127.2, take away 77. Let's write that up. Okay, that's going to give us a grand total of 127.2 take away 77 is grand total of 50.2 centimeters squared. Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash www.vividmaths.com. You'll find additional resources, cheat sheets, transcripts, and other maths videos that are not available on YouTube. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to get access to all the written answers for your maths questions plus other special offers.